Welcome to class. Today we are going to be seeing the topic proportion or variation. So first let's see direct variation. So if y and x are in direct variation, it means that an increase in the value of x leads to an increase in the value of y. Also, a decrease in the value of x leads to a decrease in the value of y. y is directly proportional to x is written as as this. Okay? So we can simplify that to introduce what is called the constant of variation or proportion. So say y is equal to kx and that k is our constant of variation or is a constant of proportion. Now let's see an example. Given that y varies directly as the square of x. If y is 16 when s is 2, express y in terms of x. Find the value of y when s is 3. Find the value of x when y is 9. So let's see how to do that. So y varies directly as the square of x. So let's introduce our constant now so y is equals to kx square so when y is 16 s is 2 just substitute it in now 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 so i have 4 k is equals to 16 i divide both sides by 2 my k is 4 so let's rewrite that equation so we we'll say y is equals to 4x square now let's proceed so when x is 3 just substitute it into this equation so y is equal to 4 open bracket 3 raised to the power 2 3 raised to the power 2 is 9 4 times 9 is 36 now the third one when y is 9 what will s give us we we'll just substitute the value of y there so y which is 9 9 is equal to 4 into x square we divide both sides by 4 we have x square equals to 9 over 4 now to remove the square there we take the square root of both sides now the square root of x square is x, the square root of 9 is 3, the square root of 4 is 2. So our s is equal to 3 over 2. Okay. Now let's go ahead. We have inverse or indirect variation. So if y is inversely proportional to x, an increase in x leads to a decrease in y. A decrease in x leads to an increase in y okay so y varies inversely as s is written this way so inverse so 1 over x okay so we can remove the proportionality there by introducing our constant so how y is equal to k over x okay so let's see an example now y is inversely proportional to x when y is 3 s is 14 find the constant of proportionality and the value of x when y is 8 so let's see let's go ahead now to see how to solve that so we have the inverse variation there we introduce our constant we have y is equals to k over x so let's just call this our equation one let's call this equation one now we are told that when y is 3 s is 14 we just substitute it in into this equation so how we are going to have 3 is equal to k over 14 we multiply both sides by 14 to make k stand alone so k will be 3 times 14 which is 42 so we are going to rewrite equation 1 it becomes y equals to 42 over x so when y is 8 what is x we we'll just substitute it back in so 8 equals to 42 over s we cross multiply we have 8s equals to 42 we divide both sides by 8 so our s is 5.2 5.25 so go over the video again to get yourself familiarized with this topic thank you